Dear graduates, firstly, congratulations. This evening is an individual and a collective celebration of your achievements. You're set to complete an exacting course that has challenged you on every level. Added to this, you've been with us throughout the complexities of the pandemic years, and you now stand on the brink of new and we hope exciting possibilities in your lives. You may also have a few questions, and I can still just about remember a few of mine at a similar moment in my life. Maybe your first thoughts are about artistic challenges. How will my skills, my voice, and my vision meet the world? Perhaps you're also asking, in what type of place will you make things? You've all grown and flourished in these rooms of our own, this house that Daniel built, along with Susan Tintori. Making spaces that are functional to this level and then making them personal is a task as important as it is difficult. Every room, every window will bring its own opportunities and challenges. In this area, I'll keep my advice pretty simple. Be smart and be flexible. And perhaps if you're working in the Southern Hemisphere, be a little less obsessed with north-facing windows. <laughs> um, it's a niche joke. Um, <laughs> It's also possible that you won't have a wonderful team of committed administrators on hand to help the machine purr. You're gonna to need to be or learn to be pretty damn organized and you might need a bit of help. And that brings me to my next point. So what to make and where you might make it are no doubt and they're rightly big questions on your minds right now. But there's one more factor I'd like us to consider for how to structure the next chapter of your lives. Community or perhaps better friendship. Voltaire, in a letter to a friend, described friendship as our most natural soil, and he saw it as the surest sign of virtue in a person. Finding and maintaining friendships that will really nourish us as artists is a challenge we don't often discuss here in class, but good soil matters. It matters so much if we are to grow and to help others do the same. Perhaps we're spoilt here, surrounded by people who share a very similar passion. But go to any city. It could be London, where I grew up. We also have people here from Mumbai, from Mexico City, and many other big, important, incredibly exciting places. And yet, the proportion of people who you will see, talk to every day, who care about things like highlights on noses drops pretty dramatically. The formal exchange between teacher and student is incredibly important. But so too are the less structured exchanges among students. And it's this type of peer-to-peer -peer development that's about to become a key component of your working lives. Technology can be a wretched and alienating thing, inadequate and reductive, but sometimes it's all we have if we want to maintain contact with the people who sustain us or even just a part of us. You're going to have to learn how to make it work for you. But also stay in touch. Share your exhibitions. Let us publicize the good things, and we are always here to try and help at other times as well. You know, if I look to my right over here, there is an amazing wealth of experience alongside me and dealing with the very possibilities and challenges that await all of you. It's kind of after-sales service. A number of you have family present. I hope all of us can say that we have a friend here on campus this evening. And I'm going to end this by talking to all of you now, not as artists, but as friends and supporters of artists. We all have a role to play. It might be buying or promoting a work of art. It might be the act of a useful critic, although be very careful with that one. Um, being a sympathetic shoulder to cry on, or an act of tough love, just like buying a louder alarm clock, and you know who you are. Maybe it will be acting as a philosophical guide, someone to remind us of the constant need to deepen our knowledge and broaden our outlook, taking a friend to an exhibition, sending them a book. All this and more. It really does take a village. I hope, and this is speaking for all of us in the school, I hope you realize that your role in this community is merely changing and not ending. Each year, hundreds of people apply to do courses here to learn the fundamentals of technique, on paper, in clay, and on canvas. And today, for you, marks the completion of that process. I hope you feel ready to tackle that first project on the outside, to begin to explain to the world the things that really touch you, and ultimately to create your own realm, to make your work a compelling invitation to a place where what you see will be interwoven with your feelings, your thoughts, your memories, and your imagination. On behalf of everyone here, we wish you the very best.